Hey, what's up you guys? So, I figured since I'm going to wear purple eyeshadow to work today that I would film my aerial uh, makeup tutorial. So, first of all, I'm going to prime my eyes with the MARC eyeshadow primer. So, I'm just going to stick that all over my eyeballs. Like that. And then do the same thing on the other side. Now I know Ariel has red hair and has a purple bra and a green tail, but I've already done like a purple and green makeup tutorial uh, for the Joker. So I figured. I just do a purple one um, with a hint of green. So yeah. So first things first, I'm going to use my Hello Kitty Wild Thing palette and take this purple color and put it all over my eyeballs. And despite what people say about the Hello Kitty palettes, I have had no problem with any of their pigmentation or anything, their staying power. Um, like, look how vibrant that is. I have never had a problem. No fallout, nothing. Um, it surprises me when people say that uh, the palettes... Um, kind of fall apart or that aren't like up to their standards I like I said personally have no problem with it I mean look at that super pigmented um it just is a tiny bit hard to blend them uh but pigmentation has never been a problem. So you just want to cover your eye in the purple and then you want to do the same thing on the other eye. The only problem I've had with Hello Kitty products is, or the Hello Kitty by Sephora products is the liquid eyeliner. You would like draw the line and then when you went to go back over it or to touch it up, uh, it basically erased the line that you had drawn. Um, I really didn't like that. The Whatever liquid eyeliner uh, came in the palette, didn't like it, it was evil, didn't want to work for anything. So now I'm just touching up some of the spots. Okay, so both eyes should be pretty much covered. I mean, there's a little bit of fallout, but it's not like a super lot of fallout. Um, and basically what I do, this doesn't mess it up like some people think. But I do take a paper towel, or a piece of a paper towel, and I just kind of lightly brush over the spot, and I use it like a sponge, and it will pick up any excess um, eyeshadow. So there's that. Um, now I'm going to take my fluffy brush 
and I'm going to take this dark purple and put it in my crease. <clears throat> I think the purples in this palette are probably my favorite, um, just because they're so vibrant. Like, super vibrant. <laughs> um, the purple in this palette could be darker than it is, um, however... I like it. So there and then definitely line underneath. And then do the same thing on the other side. Just get in the corner. Blend out. Get your little corner here. And then you want to get underneath. So like that, and yes, I know it looks kind of jokerish. I'm gonna take my Q-tip and um, touch up some spots. Paper towel would work too, because I really don't like having uh, eyeshadow that goes up to my eyebrows. Some people do uh, have their smoky eyes like go up to the eyebrows, and I'm like, whoa, you guys got guts, because I don't like that. And then just clean up any edges. So like that, that, it looks a lot better. So now I'm just going to touch up the deep purple again, just to make sure it won't and then I'm going to take the medium purple color that we put all over our lid and touch that up. And do the same thing on the other side. Okay. Now I'm going to take my black liner from Urban Decay and I'm going to line my eyes so let me get my mirror and just gently 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 um Trace a line optionally, you can do green eyeliner. I like black. And then you can mark up under here like that. And the same thing on the other side. And then we're going to line this eye and I always start you guys can't see I always start from the middle and then draw so like that. This is coming out of its thing again. I just sharpened it. I don't like sharpening these because 
They come out of the point too easily. Okay. So that. There's my smudge brush. Okay, so now we're gonna take our smudge brush and smudge, smudge, smudge. And same on the other side. And then take my Q-tip, run it underneath, and then we're going to take the white color from the Wild and Free palette, and put that as a highlight, and same on the other side. And optionally, you can put there you go, white on your waterline to make your eyes pop, which is always what I do. I'm using a Sephora eyeliner in, uh, I think it's in white, pure white number 03 so we're just gently tracing so it's not super bright which is fine okay then I'm going to take my mascara and do my lashes I'm using Da Vinci's, uh, I think it's Nor Couture, Couture, uh, mascara. Yeah, and black satin. Same thing to the other side. I think it's time to do this because I've been using it forever and I barely get any product out on it anymore. Okay, so there you have it. The Ariel inspired makeup tutorial. Alright, bye guys.